Hey guys, welcome to this course on creating style boards for interior design. My name is Brian Lee and I'll be your instructor for this course. Keep in mind we do have a downloadable template available on the Design Cures website. It's built for all levels of Photoshop experience. It's filled with everything you need to quickly build custom rooms at the click of the button. Spend less time building rooms and more time on design. So welcome to Photoshop. I assume you're watching this because you want to learn how to design interiors using Photoshop. So other artists like digital painters or photographers or web designers use Photoshop for a completely different purpose. When setting up the interface for interior design, the options I like to use can all be found in the Windows tab. And so I just want to show you around the interface a little bit before we dive into the details. So again, up here in the Windows tab, uh, I have my tools palette selected. I have my layers palette selected. And that's pretty much all I, I like to have open when, uh, when I'm designing. Here we have the movement tool, which allows us to move different pieces and parts around the canvas here. We also have this marquee tool, which allows us to make selections, either circular or rectangular. Um, another tool I use a lot is the paint bucket tool. Now we can't talk about the paint bucket tool without talking about the color palette down here. You'll notice we have a overlapping couple square panels that both have color. Now if you go into one here, it's this is the foreground color. So that's what the paint bucket is going to read from. Um, so we can select different colors using the color picker here. You can also go off screen and pick different colors that may be already existing in your canvas. Um, you can also have two colors available at any time. So let's pick a orange color. And then you can toggle back and forth by hitting this little arrow key. And then you can always jump back to just black and white by hitting the default button here. So again, back to the paint bucket tool, we can just uh, use whatever color we have selected in the foreground and fill our layer. So what is a layer? That's where the layers panel comes in. So here we have uh, the layers panel and we'll go into this in much more detail moving forward. Um, but just for now, I just want you to know how to pull up the layers panel and that it exists. And it's one of the the main palettes that I always have um, at my disposal when I'm using Photoshop. Um, last thing up here at the top, um, you'll see that every time I go to a different tool, the properties change up here. And that allows you to just adjust each tool individually and make it more dynamic. And, uh, and again, we'll get into that in the future a little bit more. So another important skill I want you to take away from this lesson and to practice is to get to a point where you don't have to think about Photoshop as a software anymore, and you're able to just focus on the fun part of designing. The best way I know of to do this is to learn how to navigate around the interface without having to use the on-screen buttons and menus. You can do this with a few simple shortcuts. So let's look at a couple of my most commonly used shortcuts. In order to zoom, zoom is, is, is one of the functions I use very often, I can just hit Command or Control plus or minus, and that'll zoom me into the canvas. Minus is out, plus is in. So that's a great hotkey to remember. We also have the pan tool. So when I zoom in, I want to be able to move around. So again, if I hold command plus, and then I hold the space bar, that allows me to pan, space bar and drag in whichever direction I want to go in. Uh, another good hotkey to know is you can um, fill your canvas into bring it to full frame by hitting Command Zero, and that brings it into a full frame. Uh, another good tool to know is the Tab tool, or the Tab hotkey. If you hit Tab, it'll hide everything in the interface, and you're free to move around. All right, so we'll zoom in move around and we don't have any of the layers panel or the tools panel hanging around getting in our way. I'll hit command zero and that'll fill our space again. 
And it's just a great way to present something quickly uh, to maybe somebody who you want to show something to sitting next to you. Either way, uh, those are some great hot keys to know. So one more time, command or control plus or minus, zooms in and out, spacebar to drag, and tab to hide and unhide the interface. So if you're new to Photoshop, this may be quite a bit of information for you to take in. Um, so what I'd like to do is just do a quick exercise that kind of covers everything I go over in these videos. So for this one, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and start from scratch here. I'm going to just kill that. All right. So let's go to the marquee tool. You can also hit M to get to the marquee tool. It's another hotkey I use quite often. We'll drag this out. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool. Let's pick a new color. Let's go to blue. I'm going to fill that color with blue or that selection with blue. I'm going to hit command D and that's going to deselect uh, my image. I'm then going to go down here. I'm going to this time. Yeah, let's do a rectangle. I'm going to create a new shape and we'll fill that again with the paint bucket tool command D and then I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to make a few little circles here oops so uh, that's one thing I need to cover if you hold shift after a selection you can actually make multiple selections in a row so we'll make a little trail of circles here And then let's fill that with green. Again, I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool, fill those, and there you go. So now, um, after you do that, go over the hotkeys that we learned in this lesson. So again, we're going to hit Command Plus, and then hold Spacebar and Pan. So I want you to fill your frame with this square. And then I want you to follow this trail down to the other side of the canvas until you get to the other shape. Now this all may seem very rudimentary, but mastering these tools will make your Photoshop experience moving forward much easier. And by the way, our next lesson, we're going to jump right into designing. We're going to start looking at how to create a three-dimensional room using two-dimensional planes. Keep in mind, we do have a downloadable template available on the Design Cures website. It's built for all levels of Photoshop experience. It's filled with everything you need to quickly build custom rooms at the click of the button. Spend less time building rooms and more time on design. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and receive new tutorials every week that will help you master Photoshop for interior design. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time.